Hey folks, Jiwo here, and we're back with some more Crusader of Seni for the Sega Genesis. In our last episode, um, let's see, we made it here through, I believe this place is called Black Knight. It's the lake in the center of, I guess, this land. So then we heard about five senses up ahead, we're trying to help these monsters get back to the underworld, because we, they just wanted to get home, you know, and hu it's human nature for us to think they're, they are bad. So these upcoming five fights deal with our five senses, the five human senses, to touch, taste, smell, hear, and see. So we're going to start with this bottom left one. I really don't remember the order. It's to see. So this one's fairly easy. Um, I'm going to use Moa. I'm going to be using Moa and Inferno for a lot of these fights, actually, just because of the AOE attack. So this eye is going to hide behind this ground that disappears. So all you got to do is just throw your sword and... Pretty much just hit it wherever it is. Oh, there it is. Wow. This eye sure gets around fast. <laughs> just keep hitting it and it should be done in no time at all. Alright, one more hit and it's done. That was a really quick fight. So on to the second one. So that gate collapses and now... Oh. It's the hands. To touch. And yes, Inferno and Moa really make this fight a lot easier just because uh, of the AoE, like I always say, because you have the ability to hit both hands if you pull it off correctly, or if you attack at the right direction. See, look, we're like, we somehow managed to hit both hands. Ah, except when you miss. No, no, stop pushing me! <laughs> okay, that's one hand. Dang, I missed it. Well, the final blow. <laughs> so that's two. On to the third sense, which is... Which one's this? Ah, to taste. This one's fairly easy. Um, picture Pac-Man, okay? All you gotta do is eat all these apples. Uh, unfortunately, they do not re or recover your health, your HP, your apples. Even though we're eating apples right now. So just eat all the apples, and then the boss will be... Ah, oh, this mouth is gonna... Freaking mouth. Okay. Here we go. The finishing apple. And that was a fairly easy one. So let's move on to the next side. So what's left? We had touch, see, taste. Which one is this? Oh, let's see here. <laughs> I hate this one. I seriously hate this fu- Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna use um, Inferno and Moa again. Just to blast this uh, musical note. I believe it's an eighth note, yes. <laughs> Let's just keep hitting it. So it's gonna change the floor, and... Yeah, that's, it's, it's gonna try and push you into the spikes. That's pretty much all it does. So what you're going to want to do is run to the opposite side, then jump where it first appeared. And and that pretty much saves you, except right there when I failed. And yes, we defeated the musical note, which is our hearing sense. And last but not least, to... Uh, I forgot what this one was. <laughs> Dude, what, what, what was it? We had taste. See, hear, taste. Dude, I have no idea which one this is. I'm just blanking out right now. But anyway, so to, to defeat this one, um, you're just going to pretty much crack all the floor around you and then make sure it's... make sure this little snake's over it. And then uh, hop, hop on one of the cracked blocks and it will make a bunch of spikes appear which will damage this snake or whatever it is. So it's a fairly easy fight. All you just pretty, pretty much need is flash in your party. Okay, so it should be done soon. Or should be dead soon, I should say. Booyah. What is it? Just two more hits? I still haven't figured out how to do this without hurting yourself, so that's why I'm always taking damage here. 
It probably has something to do with these blacked out blocks right here. Anyway, that's pretty much it as we disappear from our damage. <laughs> so last but not least, we are going to fight the final boss of this game. And what was this? This spiritual energy or something like that? I wonder if we could talk to... I know one of these monsters re recovers our HP. Okay, to see, hear, touch, smell, and taste. Okay, so that last one we fought was smell. Alright, anyway. So here comes the final fight! What the heck? It's a dandelion. No, it's... It's not. So to um, damage this enemy, what we're going to need first is to use Dodo. And we're going to keep Moa in our party. So Dodo is going to make this eye appear, as you can see right there. And then I'm just going to use Inferno again. Because Inferno's the man! Or lion. Actually, you know what? I want to try Chili this time. See if Chili does any damage. Yeah, Chili. Dude, that was pretty awesome. I like that. Let's do it one more time. Okay. So back to Dodo to make the eye appear. So yeah, it's pretty. It's a hassle to do. Oh, the eye actually appeared on its own. Wow. Okay. Let's go, Inferno and Moa. Oh man, I failed. Okay. Nope. Let's go. I gotta. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, it's almost dead. Just. What, two more hits with Inferno and Moa? Let's go, Dodo. Make the eye up here. Alright, here comes the finishing blows, you guys. One. Dodge. Two. Oh, there it is. Booyah, we defeated the darkness, enter spiritual energy or whatever. The spirit energy guarded by five senses has disappeared without a trace. The gate that leads to the underworld has opened. Countless numbers of monsters are sucked through the gate and into the underworld. Monsters from the ancient times have left this world without having a chance to see the light or the lives which were about to be born. They have returned to their true world without ever having relations with the history of this land. Whoa! Now, take a look. With your hands, the history of the world has changed. I have tested all humanity and underestimated your goodness. You have forged a new future, but forget this not. It is not humans alone who exist in this world, nor do they have the power to change that. That will always be. So yes, the fortune teller actually um, sent, sent us on this journey to change the world. So now this statue has changed, the fountain in the middle. It's the fountain of the goddess now. Love your enemy, then the road shall open. And yes, we can't open our start menu or anything. So now all that's left to do is talk to everybody around the town. What beautiful statues of, the go of goddesses. Do you know the story behind them? I do, but I'm going to say no. Love, peace, faith, and understanding. Think about it. Alright, we're going to start over here. Notice, school will open soon. Duffy. So it's the it's the lady from, um, what is it, Dahlia Valley, I believe. My husband is at Rafalsia Forest, trying to build a public park. He and our child eat so much that I'm always busy cooking. And it's Duffy! I'm going to build a school in this village and teach the children. That's my dream. So there's no more violence in this world. Like violence. Let's go in this house and see what's up. Hey, it's uh, Pico. Hi, Jiwo. Tomorrow is your birthday, right? Can't wait for the party. How's it going, buddy? Please invite me to your party, okay? Don't parents give the worst presents? I got pink suspenders on my birthday. Huh. <laughs> So I guess this brought us back to the day before our 14th birthday, which is pretty trippy, I mean... <laughs> I don't know. It's like, this is where we started the game in the first place. Use the means and you will be blessed with the knowledge of the shaman. Do you know this meaning? <laughs> no. Do your best and leave the rest to the shaman. That's what it means. Wow. I thank you for allowing me to live in happiness today. Oh, cool. 
Young man, how noble of you to come and offer your help in restoring peace on Earth. So yes, we are the hero that saved the day. And I don't think a plaza has, the plaza has been built anymore. Or it has been built. Let's see. Future side of plaza un under construction. So nope, no plaza anymore. No magical mermaid to give us golden apples or anything like that. So let's go check out what's up here in some of these houses. Yeah! Hey, it's Chai! I heard that there will be a park inside Rafelsia Forest. There is nothing in the forest, and I was hoping I could do something there. Soli is, beautiful, is a beautiful village with lots of greenery. Do you know why? Uh, no. They say there's a great hero roaming the land. Huh? You? Don't make me laugh. Get lost, small fry. Oh. Ouch. That's a blow to our pride. <laughs> We're having our first baby soon. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. We're newlyweds. Our lives are filled with happiness. Soon we'll have a baby. Oh, congratulations to you two. And let's go in this house down here. What's this kid doing? My family is at the wise men's house. I'm staying here alone because I have a cold. Aw, oh, poor, poor guy. Is there anything over here? I don't think there's anything on this side. Nope. Okay, and last but not least, let's check out our house. Oh, and we can't talk to animals anymore. Yeah. I might as well show that. Because I think the cow's still up here. Moo moo. Yeah. So... We're back to before um, our 14th birthday, so we're only 13 right now! Whoa, what is this craziness? And guess what? Our dad is alive now! Jiwo, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you have a dream? I want to be a dentist! Wonderful dream you have! Don't forget to keep on dreaming. <laughs> Mom, I can't find Mac. I wonder if he's with other dogs in the neighborhood. Alrighty, so... <laughs> Now, let us make our way up to the castle and talk to everybody. Oh, Jiwo, you do like visiting in the castle, don't you? Yes! Let me ask you one. Let me ask you one. <laughs> do you know what the symbol of the town of Sole is? No. What? You do not know it is the statue of goddesses in the fountain. Go and take a good look at them. Ah, Jiwo, you have grown strong. Be in good health, my lad. Alright, you guys ready for this? Because when we head into the basement, guess who's there? It's Amon. This is a prison. One rough fellow is locked away here. He's a bit too feisty. I think he made a mistake being born in this age. So yeah, we still never got a chance to talk to Amon. But I guess since this world's all about peace, um, and Amon was a warrior who wanted to kill junk and all that fun stuff. Wait, that's not fun. <laughs> he got thrown in from his prison. So anyway, the maid. Oh, how busy I am. The water in the barrel isn't for drinking. Do not go in. Okay. So let's head over here to the king's room. And hey, it's Mac. Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee yay bow wow yippee yo yippee a Mac the dog follows you bow wow bow wow wow bow wow wow when will his highness's dog get used to me I wonder what he's thinking <laughs> all right Mac let's get going buddy yeah let's run out of here run 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 Alrighty, so I think this is a good place to end this episode. In our last episode, we're gonna end the game. So I will see you all next time. Let's talk. To, let's go read this sign again. Fountain of Goddess, love your enemy, then the road shall open. So I will see you all next time. Jiwo out.